Okay, so in this video, I am going to be showing you how to assemble an XCP using the universal ring and arm. If you watch the other video using the singular arm, it is basically the same thing, but there's some um, minor tweaks when using the universal arm and ring. So still you're going to have an arm, um, a ring, but the ring is going to have all the colors in them. The blue, the red, and the yellow. The same with the arm, is going to have the blue, the yellow, and the red prongs. And the only thing that doesn't change are the bite blocks. So you're still gonna have the same yellow bite block, the same blue, and the same red. So again, the yellow will be for posterior, blue for anterior, and the red for the bite wing. This will always be horizontal. And this will always go with the bite block the same way as the singular arm. So let's start with the posterior yellow one. So we're going to use where the yellow is. Again, you're going to be holding the arm with the right hand the bite block with the left. And again, we're gonna start with B. If we put the arm on the right, and this is up, is going to be to the upper right, right? So, and always remember that this side is always facing away from you. Don't ever do it facing towards you. So it's always away from you. So again, the arm you hold it with the right hand, the prongs are facing the bite block sideways, and you're going to place it in. So if the arm is on the right, and this is facing up, is for the upper right. And then for this one, I know that for the singular arm, remember that the yellow is the one that changes. So again, this one is no exception, you have to flip it. With all of the other ones, you're going to use this side of the hole. But when you do the upper right, this is the right and it's upper, you're going to be using this hole to put in the arm. So you're going to use this and we can check and it's right in the center. So we're going to check it with the mouth. And we're going to see that this is outside. And when we place it in, it's going to be for the upper right, molars, upper right, premolars. We're gonna take it out. We're just going to flip it to go down on the left side, lower left, molars, and then lower left, premolars. And then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna do the change. So for the change, again, we are going to take this out. And now this is on the upper right, but we're going to put it on this side. And now it's upper left. Now, again, we gotta change the ring because the bite block has to be in the middle of the ring. So what do we do? We're going to take this out and we're just going to flip it and now we're going to put it through this hole. Flip it right there. And now we're going to put it through this hole. And now the bite block is right in the center with the ring. So this is upper and this, the, ring, the arm is on the left, so it's for upper left. So now we're gonna go here, upper left molars. Then we're gonna do upper left premolars. Then we're gonna take it out and we're going to flip it and we're going to do four mouth. We're gonna do lower right molars and then lower right premolars. 
And we're done with the yellow. Now we take this out. Now we're going to go with the blue. Again, we're still holding the arm on our right hand. And we're going to take the bite block. Again, the bite block has to be looking up and away from us. Contrary to the singular arms, this is always going to be looking horizontal. Okay, so this will go into the holes. And now we're not doing the yellow, we're gonna do the blue. So we're going to take this out. And now we're going to put this up here. That's all we do. So instead of putting it here, we're going to put it through this hole. In. And now we check that's in the center. So for the blue again, we're going to do the anteriors that are the canine. Always remember the tooth that you're exposing has to be right in the center of the bite block. Then we're gonna do the centrals. Then we're gonna do the canine. We're gonna take it out and we're just going to flip. There is no change on the blue. We're gonna do lower left canine, centrals, and lower right canine. And that's how you would do the blue for anteriors. So now we're gonna take this out. Again, this arm, we're gonna do the red. So we're gonna hold it this way. Why? Because the arm is always on the right hand and this will go facing on the opposite hand, which is the left and the prongs are going to be here. Again, I'll reinforce this. This part has to be away from you, not towards you. So always looking away. So now we're going to place this here. And we have it in the blue, so what do we do? We're going to take it out and we're going to use the red. However, if I just go ahead and put the red, the ring is on the opposite side of the bite block. So the only thing to do is put it where the bite block is and then just put it in. And that's how you would do the assembly for the rod for the bite wing. So now how do we expose the x-rays? We're going to go into the mouth and I'm going to ask the patient to bite down and we're going to take the molars, again, to open the spaces, this would need to be placed as how the arch goes. You don't place it like this. The bite block has to be how the arch, in the direction of the arch, to open those spaces to check the interproximal cavities, to avoid overlap of the teeth. And that's the molar exposure then the premolar exposure. And we're gonna take it out and we're just going to flip it again for the red one. Like the blue, there is no change. We're gonna do it at an angle and we're gonna do the premolar exposure. Open and then we're gonna do the molar exposure. And that's how you do the bite wing. For the um, universal um, XCP, this is always horizontal and you're just flipping the colors. And that's how you use the XCP for this.